Hello all, welcome to the session. In today's session, we are going to discuss about the toy industry of India. Toy industry of India and the extreme potential that it holds for the country, whether it is in term of improving the manufacturing sector or improving the income of the people and providing more opportunities of employment to the citizens of the country. So we are going to look at the significance of this toy industry and what steps have the government taken and what is the way forward with the challenges associated with the toy industry? So let's start with our session. Now, firstly, to understand the topic, let us just understand what this toy industry consists of. Now, toys, if you look at, India has been, you know, exporting a lot of toys from China over the years. And it was during 20, 2021 and 21, 22 that where India was able to turn the net exports of toys, where it ended decades of import dominance. Now, over the past three years, toy imports came down by 70%. So this is a very, very big number. 70% imports have come down and exports have increased by 61%. Now, this achievement, if you talk about that India uh, has achieved, it has been credited to the Make in India initiative of India that has played a pivotal role over here. So, Make in India initiative that was launched in 2014. And uh, if you look at this initiative to Make in India and promote the domestic industries has been the forwarding. Now, promoting the toy manufacturing in India has been the concern of the government for over the years. And it is also true that India's dependency on Chinese toys have reduced and the, for, the, the exports have improved in recent months. So the scale of export is still very minuscule and close to 200 times smaller than that of China's. But yes, for India, it can be regarded as a big achievement. Now, what is the state of India's toy industry we talk about? At present, the India's toy industries is mining minuscule. So, India hardly figures in the global toy trade with its exports at a meter half a percentage point only. If we talk about the year 2015 and 16, the industry at that moment had about almost 15,000 enterprises or you could say establishments which were producing toys of the value of 1,688 CR, right? And if you talk about the employment that has been generating, it's more than 35, it's somewhere here in this bracket, 35 to 40,000 workers have been working in this industry. So anyways, if you look at the toy industry is developed, right? It's definitely going to improve the economy in a lot better way. So if I talk about the registered factories, which are the one employing 10 or more workers on a regular basis, they accounted for 1% of the number of factories and enterprises employing 20% of workers and produce around 77% of the value of output. So though this industry, the toy industry is quite small as present, but if we look at, we can have a lot of advantages if we develop the manufacturing sector. So definitely, if, if we talk about the time of globalization and that movement, now India started to focus on the service sector more. And we now realize that service sector, which is already very much flooded, the another sector that can be a boom for the country and the growing, growing population, it can be the manufacturing sector and toy industry is one where definitely we can improve on we can increase the exports and definitely we can have a hand on it, this particular field and with this if you look at a lot of potential benefits it holds whether it is talking about increasing the income it's uh, making more people work in the manufacturing sector bringing in uh, the requisite potential over here so this is something that we have to look forward that how this sector can be of great use now, if I talk about, you know, the decade of 2000 to 2016, right, if I consider this period, we will see that industry output has halved in real terms, right, and there have been a lot of job losses also. 
Now, when we are talking about imports, imports accounted for up to 80% of domestic sales until recently, and between the period of 2020-2019, imports have risen by nearly three times as much as exports. So earlier, if I talk about 80% of the toys were imported with crores of rupees going abroad, so that was leading to net outflow of the money. So according to a joint report by an industry called FICI and KPMG, the India's toy industry can is you know it is expected to double from current one billion US dollar to you know uh, it can reach to two billion by the in the coming years. So definitely the numbers if you look at it's a very very big number and definitely a great potential for the country as a whole. Now. If I talk about the toy industry and what are the driving forces behind the growth of India's toy industry, firstly, see any industry if we talk about, industry is working on the foremost thing, that is demand and supply. Right, both are very very essential. If I don't have demand, then what's the use of this supply? Right. So demand is something very very important and firstly India has a huge consumer base so who are the consumers of toy they are definitely they are children so india has a large population of children aged 0 to 14 and this accounts about 26.62% of the total population and this creates a high demand for toys and games in the country. So we don't have to go anywhere. We have that consumer base here in India itself. We have huge demand of these toys. And then the other major factor is rising disposable end income. So India's GDP growth and rising middle class population have increased the purchasing power of consumers who can now afford to buy more to toys for the children. Then talking about e-commerce. So you, you will see now more number of online platforms are there and definitely with UPI, digital payment, consumers worldwide, they can just in a, within a few seconds, within a click, wide varieties of games and toys are available. And as people are getting more aware and technology wise also, we are developing number of games for developing cognitive psychomotor skills of the students are being run. So e-commerce also helps toy manufacturers and retailers to reach a large customer base and even reduce the operational cost. So it is, it can definitely be a big, big driving force over here. And um, in this era of technology where internet has become the means so just see how easy it would be so if domestic uh, manufacturers right they can register on e-commerce platform and more easily the process becomes the more we can develop the industry then government support if you talk about government has been coming up with a lot of initiatives to promote the domestic toy industry such as vocal for local going vocal for local toys campaign toy cathon and uh, there have been Atmanir but toys innovation challenge all these are certain examples so we are actually boosting innovation then we are also concerned about the safety and the competitiveness of India's toys so that we can actually go on to reduce the numbers on imports now also according to toy association report that was released in 2018 67 as per the data 67 percent parents believe that stem focused toys are the primary way to encourage science and maths development in young children so can you say that there have been a shifting pattern in the behavior consumer behavior itself from conventional toy towards modern we could say modern and with that we are also focused on high-tech electronic toys in strengthening the market growth and definitely it can be very very helpful in the education sector also right so definitely uh, such kind of toys in schools and they should need to be promoted so definitely they're going to be a uh, you know game challenge over here also the toy sector is also going global as we are exploring new markets new markets such as the Middle East and African countries India's latest surge in toys export was largely due to America and India was its ninth biggest source over here now another thing is protectionism if we talk about 
India turning a net exporter of toys is mainly due to rising protectionism and less perhaps on account of expanding domestic capabilities. So if you look at the campaigns that are being run in India, vocal for local campaign, definitely they are going to play a huge, huge impact on its growth also. Now, talking about the significance of toy industry. Firstly, if you look at all the factors, the so first and the foremost thing is that toys are something the consumer base is 0 to 14 years and yes, they can be used in child development. So when we're talking about cognitive, that stands for understanding, then physical, social and emotional development in children is very, very important. Already we are living in a time where we, we are seeing that children are becoming more, um, uh, you know, engaged in cell phones and technology. At that moment, if we can bring in such technologies that promote this cognitive and psychomotor development in children, it can definitely help them a lot. Then entertainment and recreation. Toys also provide amusement. They provide imaginative play to the children. And in education and learning, they can foster that curiosity and tech essential skills. Now, if I look at uh, toys can be of various types. There are toys that are for normal children. Then for uh, autistic children and children who require some learning help for them also, it can be a great potential over here. When we are developing such toys that help these children to learn actively, in more engaging learning whenever we are talking about learning and even the national education policy has been focusing on child centered learning here so if you can look at that child centered learning and with the help of toys such kind of toys that can help them develop is really very very important also economically it is going to have a huge impact by generating revenue jobs and supports related businesses so troy driven innovation and corporate technological advancements would be a very uh, great thing over here and we can also you know uh, to the youngsters we can uh, help them or uh, you know we can motivate them to get into the industry develop such kind of toys and technology that is really handy. Also, toy is said to be something that reflect on the cultural values. It is something that reflects on the trends and promote even diversity. If you look at there have been different games uh, and there have been uh, toys also, right? So it's cultural influence is for it. It is also very significant. Now, government plays a very important role over here, definitely. And both government and private sector need to come together if they have to you know, really help in the growth of the toy industry. So first and the foremost thing is that they have to promote uh, uh, startups. And with that, the government is also called upon startup entrepreneurs to explore the toy sector. The government has also urged industry players to support local toys and reduce reliance on foreign goods. With that, educational institutions have been asked to organize hackathons for students to innovate in toy technology and design, uh, like it could be online games, so that you know it can reflect on the Indian ethos and values. Also, the government triple the import duty on toys and its components uh, from the number 20% to 60% in 2020, right? And it was further increased to 70% within a few, uh, within a view to cut inbound shipments of these products and to boost the domestic manufacturing activities. Another very important thing is that toy quality, when you're talking about toy quality, it is something very, very important, right? And we, the toys should not be made with such kind of chemicals and products that you know harm the children because children if you look at the many a times they even you know uh, they are there in direct contact with the toys so whatever it is there has to be you know a certification that should be there that should be made mandatory and with that we have to revive the indigenous industry so certification quality certification is very very important now, government actually began enforcing these quality control for imported toys from September 1, 2020 to ensure that only products that confirm the standards, they enter the country at all. So, quality certification becomes another important point here. Talking about the National Action Plan for Toys, this is another very big initiative by the government of India. And it aims to promote the domestic toy industry and, you know, the aim is to make India a global toy hub.
so here there will be around 15 ministries that are going to be involved at various interventions such as you know how we have to set up the production culture uh, cluster then launching the scheme then to incentivize manufacturing exports strengthening the research and development with that uh, on quality standards definitely that is a must right over here and uh, how we have to integrate toys with education and integration is something very very important over here another very important scheme that we have to talk is the scheme of fund for regeneration of traditional industries and the ministry of micro small and medium enterprises has actually approved around 19 toys clusters under this particular scheme so these are the other major initiatives but developing the toy industry is not that easy there are definitely going to be a lot of challenges see if we have to develop something we're talking about developing the toys and do we have the resources first of all resources here we are talking about the raw material do we have sufficient amount of raw material we require a lot of raw material for it and indian manufacturers they specialize in board games soft and plastic toys and puzzles now companies they have to import material from south korea and even japan to manufacture these toys so that dependence we have to take care of then lack of technology now this is a big barrier in india's toy industry because most of the domestic toy manufacturers they use outdated technology and machinery so if you're talking about design we're talking about quality there has to be toys that really promote on this right and for that we need to develop into that sector by bringing in such youth that can actually manufacture in it then high gst rates definitely high tax rates on toys is a very very big challenge for the toy industry and if you talk about what is the current present state of rates it is around 18 percent from the electronic toys and for the non-electronic toys they are attracting around 12 percent gst so it's a very big number so government i think it needs to reconsider on this that whether such taxation and uh, would be fine over here or not then definitely when we are talking about an industry raw materials we have talk about we have talk about government's role but we should have that much of infrastructure also so infrastructure and if we are having poor infrastructure there is absence of end-to-end -end manufacturing facilities then the sector's growth is somewhere hindered so when we are talking about toys we require labs for it we require logistic supports for it do we have that then cheap alternatives are already available in the market you see china is playing a china has definitely has a upper hand over here and is playing a very prominent role in the toy industry one of the biggest toy exporters in the world now competition from cheap and low quality imports from countries like china is another big challenge for india's toy industry and china is actually accounting for 80 percent of the toy imports in india so how are we going to uplift the domestic toy sector and we already know the practice which is dumping being practiced here so cheap alternatives is which are available how we are going to you know tell the consumers to purchase a particular product so market oriented strategy is something that people are looking to for for it then unorganized and fragmented sector is definitely when you are seeing that 90 percent of the market is very much unorganized and how we are going to reap the benefits then so they all become a big big challenge over here see challenges are there we have talked about the domestic uh, sector how it can improve the government's role so what is to be done is that we have to promote the startup system right and with that we have to foster collaboration we have to promote innovation we have to promote that you know easy market access is there we have to look for the safety and quality standards also then we have to look for the how we are going to you know, embrace this digital transformation altogether how we are going to integrate toys into education because since we are talking about child-centered education for that holistic child development we require that so that we can also you know encourage toy libraries over here then we can diversify the product portfolio and catering to the changing references and needs of the consumer with for that what we can do we can customize the toy so that it can be appealing to different age groups and segments also so if we look at the what 
can be the major things we uh, we can do we hope have discussed the, the topic and uh, what we uh, come over here is that definitely it is a big big sector over here so it is india's toy sector has a potential to showcase the project of creating self reliant india that manufactures for itself in the world and definitely we can improve on the manufacturing sector with various of the government schemes and the other industry uh, industries initiative so here if we look at we can also go for a lot of other uh, like government and the private sector coming up with a lot of initiatives together so with this we end the session here thank you